What's going on guys and welcome to the video. So I tell myself the way you live in this Today I am doing what I've been saying that I'm gonna do and I'm doing a full day of eating. It is actually almost 11 o'clock and I have not eaten a single thing yet today. I'm not doing an inter 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 I'm not doing intermittent fasting. I just, this is kind of how my days have been going. I wake up in the morning, I'm like super busy in the morning. I'll do like BCAAs, which I'm doing the Body Tech BCAA and glutamine mix. Then normally, like I've trained some clients in the morning, then I'll do fasted cardio. So I make sure I get my BCAAs in. Then by the time like I'm free, it's only around like 11 or 12. So I normally come back home, prep all my food, and then eat. I do like it because I get to have bigger meals throughout the day. So that's really good because I love having bigger meals. What else? I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not intermittent fasting because like I'm not, like if I eat my last meal at, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night, I'm not waiting 16 hours. I just feel better in the morning. I feel like once I start eating in the day, then like I'm hungry throughout the day. I just, I don't know, I feel good. My energy levels are good. I mean, I mean you could tell now I'm not faking. Well, I, mean, I might be a little bit enthusiastic more because of the camera, but for the most part, like my energy levels are good throughout the morning. Once it gets close to 11 o'clock, I do start to, my energy levels do start to drop a little bit, but for the most part, I'm good. I roll with it. I like it. I just make sure to get my BCAAs in. If I, you know, even if I don't do faster cardio, I still get them in. If I do faster cardio, I make sh damn sure I get them in. That is about it. This morning I went, I did fasted cardio. I don't have to be at work till one today, but I went in, I did fasted cardio. I don't know if I mentioned it yet on this channel, but I hate hit cardio, but it, I think it's working. We're gonna see, I have my weigh in tomorrow, Friday, which if it's, you're watching this video, I did my weigh in this morning, but today's Thursday. But you're watching this on Friday, and I do my weigh ins on Fridays, so physique update comes soon. I think they're working, so I'm gonna continue to do it. Then after that, I went to Sidecar Donuts. It was rough, I didn't cheat though, but I went to Sidecar to meet up with one of my clients and good friends to kind of schedule out his sessions for the next two months, which is really good. I really enjoy working with the guy. He's a really cool guy. Now I'm back home, it's 11 o'clock, and I am gonna get into my first meal. So, let's do it. The way I go about how I eat in a day, which I've talked about this previously on the channel, like way back, so my OG members, they'll know. But I make my um plan here in my fitness pal and then i just i make it on sunday or like i don't know monday or, or whatever and i just kind of plan out what i'm gonna do for the week and i pretty much just eat the same thing every day i don't eat them in the same order every day so my schedule is very all over the place so i just try to figure out what's going on that day and then i plan my meals accordingly i'm actually going to be working out super late tonight i after like my clients and stuff which i think oh uh, yeah i'm going to be working out at like 7 p.m tonight i want to get a lot of my meals in before because i'm doing legs today the way i'm gonna do it today is i'm actually going oh and beans in my weigh-ins tomorrow I don't want to have a lot of food late tonight. I want to have, you know, relatively empty stomach tomorrow. So I'm going to like front load a lot of my food to get it in before my workout. And then post-workout, I'm just going to literally have my post-workout meal and then my cottage cheese delight tonight for like my slow release of proteins for while I sleep. First meal will be, you see how I switched from the natural lighting to this and it turns orange? I hate that. Um, I don't think I'm in the YouTube game yet to like get one of those like big fancy lights and shit, but maybe one day. First meal of the day is going to be oatmeal, two rice cakes. If you haven't tried the white cheddar rice cakes with peanut butter, it is absolutely amazing. You get like a little sweet, you get a little salty. Perfect. Eggs here that I cooked in the muffin tray. I'm gonna do some of this. I went from the rotisserie chicken to this. They didn't have the one pound. You see the one pound family size. They didn't have that in the chicken breast today or whenever I went to the store. So I just got that smoked turkey breast. Same macro, so I was cool with it. I'm gonna do a bag of the Garden Express. Ooh. Walnuts.
tossing the salad. <laughs> Talked about this in a previous video, but I'm going to talk about it again. And it is how to volumize your oatmeal, aka making more, making it feel like you have more than what you actually have. As you can see, I have my bowl of oatmeal here, and you can, it's kind of hard to see, but it, it doesn't look like a lot. You know, the line's way down here. We are going to make it seem like there's a lot more. Whenever I cook it, I try to I keep it thick, if you could see that. It's like really thick. So, what I do is, I add a little bit of water, get a cup of water here, I pour, and as you can see, like it kind of looks like watery. Once you stir it, like so, it's really hard to do this with one hand. The oatmeal just really soaks all of that water up and it makes it like you have so much more oatmeal. And then, to make it on point, you gotta add a secret ingredient. Ba -ba -da -da. Secret ingredient is Walden Farms. Add a little bit of Walden Farms in there. Mix it up. Delicious. That's how you volumize. I'm going to finish heating up this, getting all my breakfast ready, and I'll show you when it's done. So this is going to be meal number one. I got my rice cakes and my peanut butter, oatmeal, my eggs, and I put a little salsa on there. I don't track the salsa. And then I got my salad with a little high quality H2O, with a little meal in it. I'm actually out on LaCroix, so I'm pretty upset about that. I didn't buy any more Diet Pepsi, so I haven't been drinking that, so you should be proud of me. So I'm about to go ahead and destroy this. Watch a little YouTube. And yes, I'm so excited because I'm pretty damn hungry. See you guys at the next meal. Extension on swap bench. So it is now time for meal number two. I had my meeting at one like I was telling you guys and then I did my cardio session. Being that I'm training the legs so late tonight, I figured I would just go ahead and do cardio being that I had the time right now. This is my next meal. I have, it is eight ounces of jasmine rice. It's a whole bag of the, sorry about that. It's a whole bag of like a melody, like a vegetable melody type thing. It's like uh, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. So I did a whole bag of that with eight ounces of chicken. Now I don't normally do eight ounces of chicken. I only do six, but in my salad this morning, I was short on that, um, the turkey that I had. I normally do like five ounces of that turkey and I only had one and like one and a half ounces. So I just subbed it out with this chicken. Pleasures of knowing your macros and how to manipulate them works out perfect. I'm about to destroy this meal. I will check in with you guys for my pre-workout meal, which is going to be, let's see, right now it is four, no, three. So my next meal is going to be at seven. So I'll check in with you guys then. Also too, I'm not sure if I said, but I put this low sodium teriyaki sauce on that meal. I really don't track it. I try not to put like a shit ton, but yeah, just kind of give it some flavor. I'll see you guys at my next meal. Pre-workout meal, it's one of my favorite meals. So guys, we have reached the end of the day. It is 9.19 at night. I just got home, finished my leg day. Now, I have to apologize because I completely, I don't know, I just completely forgot to record my pre-workout meal. But you saw it in my last video, my shoulder video. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. If you want to see what my pre-workout meal is, because it, it was the exact same measurements, everything. So go check that out. Now it's time for my post-workout meal. And this will be the last meal of the day. I try to keep it relatively light, very low vol or somewhat of a low volume, just to where I have a whole lot of food in my stomach this late at night, beings that I have my way in in the morning. Let's get to getting this meal together. What it's gonna be, cottage cheese, one banana, some white rice, rice cakes, peanut butter. And I'll show you what it looks like once it's all ready. So, meal is all done. I'm gonna put uh, two rice cakes with peanut butter on it. This is the Cottage Cheese Delight. Again, I've had this on the channel many a times. Go back and watch past videos if you wanna see how I make this, the ingredients in there. This is four ounces of jasmine rice with a little low sodium teriyaki sauce and one banana. Now I'm sure you've been thinking like through this whole video, like Dave, you eat some weird ass food. I, 
I don't know. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not like normal people, I guess you could say. Like, I don't eat for taste. I literally just eat for function. This is what I eat. This is what I enjoy. You know, I, it gets the job done. So, I roll with it. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this meal. And I'll check in with you guys after. So guys, that is my full day of eating. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get some ideas from the foods that I eat. Again, I don't eat for taste, I eat for function. Granted, I really enjoy all of the foods that I do eat. I do try to incorporate foods that I like and these are foods that I like. Um, as you can tell, I really like those rice cakes and peanut butter. I also really like my cottage cheese delight. I don't know, it's just a lot of things in my diet that I really like that I never get tired of. And I think that's the key, it's just to find stuff that you like and find stuff that, you know, it's very easily trackable and dining is going to be really easy. That's just, that's my opinion on it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a good time making it. That's about it. That's my food. And I don't think I've ever talked, I don't think I talked about my macros. Um, what I ate today was 3,400 calories. So I actually haven't told you guys this, but on Monday I made the executive decision to drop my calories from 3,600 down to 3,400. My protein stayed the same at 220, no, I take it back. My protein went up from 225 to 255. My carbs went down from 495 down to 425. And my fat went down from 80 to 75. That's what I ate today. That was my macros. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Please give the video a thumbs up. That would help out this channel a lot and I would really appreciate that. Please subscribe. Please watch past videos. And I'll see you guys on Monday with my physique update. Hopefully it's a good one. Peace. So I tell myself the way you live in this